Strong storms pushed through the area. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan will show us what we can expect for the rest of the evening. Jewish leaders are inviting all Americans all across the country into their synagogues tonight to send a powerful message of unity. That story coming up. You're watching ABC 7 News at 6. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Jacqueline Matter. Thanks for joining us tonight. Topping our news, a stormy afternoon for parts of the Sun Coast today. That's right. We've already received reports of at least one storm related fire in Bradenton. You're taking a live look at our tower cam showing conditions on the Sarasota Bay. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan for a look at our forecast and what we can expect, Bob. And you can see from that uh, picture right there in that video, uh, we are looking at uh, improving conditions. This line that you see moving and racing to the southeast, that was the culprit for bringing the tornadoes and a possibility of uh, some tornadoes to the north of us. We had a tornado warning at one point. Uh, for Manatee County that has uh, again not caused any significant damage that we can see at this point. Uh, that severe weather threat is over uh, again. That severe weather threat is over for us as that line is cleared. Manatee, Sarasota, Hardy and DeSoto counties still a possibility, but not much into Highlands County. Uh, expect uh, periods of light to moderate precipitation. Uh, we're starting to see some breaks already, but there's still a little bit of light rain offshore. Uh, this will continue to work off to the northeast. So uh, for tonight's football games or outdoor events, you're going to see some showers uh, around periodically through the uh, eight o'clock hour. You can see the rain has ended at Anna Maria Island, also in Longbow Key for right now. Still some light rain lingering near the airport and also into East Manatee County, uh, light to moderate precipitation up near Duet, stretching down toward Northport, Venice. You're still getting some light rainfall there, but as far as any kind of rough weather goes, that is over for now as we move through time. Now you can see some uh, showers near Inglewood as well, near Port Charlotte, and as I mentioned, Northport, uh, some rainfall uh, still occurring there. Uh, no watches and warnings at this point. That's good news for us. There's still some severe weather on the East Coast now. Uh, there was over a dozen, I think, uh, tornado warnings at one point uh, over a two hour stretch over West Central Florida, and there was some damage. We'll show you some of that up near uh, Hernando County. Uh, nearly uh, eight tenths of an inch reported at the uh, again I-75 near Bee Ridge and Fruitville. Uh, these are estimates more than likely a little bit below uh, that in some areas, so it's probably higher as far as the actual totals go. Uh, but again, you can see that rut line racing to the east southeast. That's the reason why we saw the rough weather. It was moving in a different direction than the actual rainfall was moving. Just enough twist in the atmosphere to kick off these uh, small, very isolated tornadoes. And this may be a sign of things to come over the winter months because of El Nino that's in uh, full effect right now. Uh, storms tend to be a little bit stronger as they move through. Clearing and cooler for a Saturday and looks to be a nice, cool, at least more sunshine on Saturday. And then guess what? The rain comes back on Sunday. Details and all that coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Bob. New at six, Sarasota police say a routine traffic stop led to the arrest of a drug dealer. Dariente Singletary is facing several felony charges, including carrying a concealed firearm, possession of marijuana with intent to sell, and resisting arrest with violence. New images released today from his October 26th arrest show the contents in the car he was driving, including a pistol that was listed as stolen from the Manatee County Sheriff's Office. Singletary already posted bail out of Sarasota County. Sarasota police inviting families to a free movie night this weekend. Tomorrow night they'll be showing the Emoji Movie at their headquarters in downtown Sarasota. It'll be held on the West End lawn of SPD headquarters beginning at 630. Everyone is invited and moviegoers are encouraged to bring blankets or chairs. Drinks and snacks will be provided. Sarasota County Commissioners say they will consider putting a voluntary year round fertilizer ban in place after many concerned citizens have asked them to do so at commission meetings. People who are for the ban say that fertilizer runoff helps red tide algae blooms grow. The city of Venice recently enacted a voluntary ban on fertilizer and county commissioners say they will talk with Venice officials about their experience doing so. One resident who is for the ban says that most people don't think of things like fertilizers being dangerous, and if the local government recommended people not to use it, they may be more aware. It's not their top focus. It's not that their top priority. But if you're living in Florida, I believe that it needs to be one of your top priorities because our Gulf is dying and we've witnessed a hor horrific scene this year. This potential voluntary fertilizer ban is still under consideration. 
Sarasota County Commissioners say there is no date set yet to discuss this issue further. A big Benderson development project is in Ellington is expanding. Manatee County Commissioners voting unanimously to allow the developer to modify a portion of the land use so it can expand the operation. Demand for space at the Florida International Trade Port much higher than anticipated, so Benderson requested that another 50 acres of land be rezoned. The state must still approve that change. The Sarasota County School Board is already deciding the school calendars for the next two years. Next Tuesday, the school board will be discussing the proposed calendars openly with teachers, administrators, and parents. The proposed calendars each have 180 school days. The 2019-2020 school year will start on August 12th and end on May 29th. The following year, it's proposed to start August 10th and end on May 27th. Still to come in your Suncoast News tonight, tomorrow your last chance to vote early for the midterm election. We'll break down the voter turnout so far here on the Suncoast. Plus, why some are worried that the midterm elections will distract people from the devastation in the Florida Panhandle. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Rosaire from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. My California Closets designer is a rock star. She was able to design the most beautiful space for me. When I turn the lights on, it's breathtaking. La! It's just a little slice of organized heaven. The California Closet team was so professional, so reliable. It was seriously a dream come true. My name is Jill, and this is my California Closet story. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to Mesobook.com. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program.
Early voting ends tomorrow in both Sarasota and Manatee counties. Your next chance to vote after that is on Election Day on Tuesday. Thousands of people have cast their ballot since early voting started on October 22nd, and the number of early voters are only expected to climb today and tomorrow. In Sarasota County, more than 118,000 voters have already cast their ballots, whether they've early voted or voted by mail, which is a 37% voter turnout already. In Manatee County, more than 84,000 registered voters have cast their ballots so far. We're told the governor's race and the number of amendments on the uh, a number of amendments and issues rather on the ballot is what is contributing to that high turnout. That and the number of younger voters being moved to vote. But what it is happening is we have a very divided America and a very divided Florida right now. And yet we see this younger generation is tending to register as no party affiliation because they don't like what seems to be the immovable picture that they see for both of the two mainstream parties. Well, if you have not cast your vote early, you still have some time left. Polls close tonight at 630 and reopen tomorrow at 830 in the morning. For a full list of those locations where you can drop your ballots off or vote early, you can go to our website, mysuncoast.com. Well, former President Obama in South Florida today campaigning for Democratic gubernatorial candidate Andrew Gillum. Gillum could become Florida's first African-American governor with a victory on Election Day. Democrats are hoping the former president's blessing can put the Tallahassee mayor over the top for that win. Gillum has narrowly led in polling since scoring an upset primary win in late August. Two former state house speakers say the new Rebuild 850 initiative will encourage investors to help Northwest Florida. Backers hope it will help keep people from forgetting the panhandle, beachfront, and rural communities devastated by Hurricane Michael last month. The storm causing at least $4.5 billion in damage and an estimated 35 deaths across Florida. With about 20,000 people left homeless by Michael and more living with family and friends, Former House Speaker Will Weatherford says victims of the storm need help now. We can't wait for the politics to work itself out in regard to Hurricane Michael. I think there's, there's enough need today that people need to act. The concern is that as time goes on, people may forget about the panhandle, may forget about the counties that have been affected. So Rebuild 850's purpose is to make sure people don't forget. With people focused on Tuesday's elections and the hurricane not causing a crisis outside of the panhandle, Weatherford feels attention has already started to shift away from the impacts of the October 10th storm. A new executive order by Governor Rick Scott will allocate money for schools that have doubled as hurricane shelters. Florida's Education Department will give Liberty County School District up to $6 million following Hurricane Michael. That money will allow the district to pay for the necessary building materials that will withstand hurricane force winds. The department also working with other school districts that may need more funding for hurricane preparedness. And remember the video from uh, Hurricane Michael last month that showed, you know, many schools were, you know, ruined. Oh by yeah, the storm they, surge they were ripped apart. That was a, a, almost a Category Five storm. Yeah. Only three to hit the United States in history. That was uh, very close to it. Uh, we're going to transition out of hurricane season and get into the winter months, which yeah. bring tornadoes during El Nino, and that's what we're seeing. And speaking of schools, I had a chance to talk about tornadoes and hurricanes today. Wilkinson Elementary, the fifth grade class there, and uh, they are uh, all excited right there. I'm right in the middle, right in the middle of the kids there, and they had a great time. A lot of questions about uh, tornadoes and hurricanes, and I'll tell you what, they put a, they're going to put up a new weather station, just like Scott. Scott recently did that. He had an inch of rainfall at his house. Uh, today, Scott didn't, and so we had some pretty heavy rainfall times. Well, get a look at this. This is Hernando County, and these things can happen real quickly, and the models sometimes don't pick up on them. Uh, yesterday, there was no indication we were going to see severe weather or even tornadoes like this one in Hernando County, and that was an EF1, I believe. And look at the damage it did at Spring Hill. Hernando's just north of Tampa and uh, north of Hillsborough, Pasco, and uh, again, uh, Pinellas County, but that ripped the roof off there at awning as well and uh, caused some considerable damage. That's what's going to happen with these storms. They move on through Van Ways, a webcam, some heavy rain moving through and then notice what happens at the end of the uh, pictures here in the end of the video. You start to see some breaks in the clouds there. It's still some rainfall around, but uh, we have some rain still offshore that's going to be moving onshore. Uh, look at all the heavy rainfall still around the Carolina coast stretching down along the east coast. That's where that intense Boeing line of intense storms now continues to move off to the southeast. 
We're still dealing with some light rain. The actual cold front still back here, so that'll be working its way through uh, through the night and uh, by tomorrow morning sunrise. It should be through. We'll look for cooler temperatures, clearing skies somewhat. There'll be a little cloudiness around, but uh, temperatures will cool down on Saturday. Uh, still some light to moderate precipitation occurring well offshore, but we're starting to see some breaks in that action. Uh, there's no potential for any severe weather, and I would not see or expect to see any lightning uh, for the remainder of this evening in Sarasota and Manatee counties, just based on these returns and the fact that a lot of the energy was used up earlier with that squall line that moved on through. There are a few lightning strikes with it well to the southeast of our viewing area, and we can still see some light to moderate rain along I-75 in South Sarasota County near Northport, uh, stretching off toward Inglewood. Coming to an end in Venice now. As far as those forecast winds go, they'll stay out of the west overnight, turn northwesterly pretty quickly once the front moves through, and then quickly out of the northeast by tomorrow afternoon. That will usher in some drier air, keep that cold front down to our south at least through Saturday night, and then it comes back northward as a warm front on Sunday, and those winds switch around to the south, and that'll warm us back up as quickly as uh, Sunday afternoon, more so on Monday and Tuesday. Well, the hourly planner tomorrow calling for a cool start in the mid 60s will warm up into the mid 70s. A few clouds around now and again, no threat for rain on Saturday, but as I said, Sunday, different story. So here's the evening, uh, still some light rain lingering up to about eight, and then most of it should be over. Skies will start to clear a little bit on Sunday and, or Saturday, and then Sunday the front comes back northward and brings us some rainfall, and we'll see kind of a light to moderate day of rain in the afternoon and evening, and eventually uh, clearing out of here on Monday. Tuesday looks okay. There's a slight chance for a shower late Tuesday night as another front moves on through. So we're in this very fast acting uh, system. There's another system developing on Thursday of next week, and that's a rather intense low pressure area, which promises to bring a lot of snow even into Kansas uh, next Thursday. 70 degrees right now, still some light rain. It's uh, relative humidity now 93%. Winds are out of the southwest at 6, and those winds have died down somewhat. The high today was 81 before the rain moved in. The low this morning was 68. And as far as the overall picture goes, there's another piece of energy working its way through the central United States. That will give us that weak frontal system, I think, again, uh, on in through that warm front, moving back up to it as it attaches it to the uh, low pressure area. Temperature is currently in the 40s, uh, pretty chilly in Cleveland and Chicago and St. Louis, all in the 40s there. For boaters tomorrow, it will be a little bit breezy out there. Northeast winds at 15 uh, knots in the afternoon. Seas will be 2 to 4 feet in a moderate chop. And here's what's happening for the seven day forecast. Looks good for Saturday. Kind of a cool start and a kind of a cool day too. And then we 60% uh, chance for rain on Sunday, mainly afternoon and evening. And then again, just a slight chance for a shower on Monday. Election day looks good. 85, no excuses there as far as weather goes. And then we get back and do another front on Thursday and Friday. 70% chance for rain on Thursday, late and Friday, a 50% chance for storms. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. Tonight will be the first Sabbath following the synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh. Jewish leaders across the country will be using their weekly Shabbat as a way to show the world that hate cannot be tolerated and that all communities need to come together. ABC 7's Rebecca Fernandez joins us live from the Jewish congregation in Venice tonight with details of this evening's services. Rebecca. Scott Jacklin, tonight's Shabbat at synagogues across the country will be not just another night of worship, but a night to set aside fear and become one community with all Americans. Sir, services begin here tonight at 7.30 and people are already starting to arrive. The Jewish congregation of Venice expects hundreds to fill the synagogue and they say they know it'll be just like this all across the country tonight. They've been preparing for tonight for the last two days and they know that tonight will be a special time for the whole community to come together. Live in Venice, Rebecca Fernandez, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Back to you guys. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Looking ahead to tomorrow, Project Red Tide and the Captain Planet Project are going on a red tide road trip. The two local organizations say they want to bring awareness to the red tide problem and the, the effects that Lake Okeechobee may contribute to it. So a group is taking a caravan to Central Florida to see Lake O firsthand. Also tomorrow, the Medieval Fair is this weekend. For the next three weekends, you can go to the Ringling Woods behind the Sarasota Fairgrounds and step into another world. Festivities start at 10 o'clock in the morning and continue through the afternoon. Always a popular event. Tomorrow's going to be great weather. Yeah, it'll be a good time to go out there. 
But when we come back, we'll get back to Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan to let us know uh, what kind of weather our high school football players will have this evening on the last night of the regular football season. You could hear the gunfire just around this wall. Around the corner here are the children. What's your name? Almost every home here has sustained damage. We're glad you're okay. Oh, thank you. Back on the job. Back in the job. ABC's World News Tonight with David Muir is America's most watched newscast. Enjoy fine wine and great foods, all while supporting a great cause. It's the 17th annual Suncoast Food and Wine Fest, happening Saturday, November 10th from 1 to 4 p.m. at the Premier Sports Campus in Lakewood Ranch. Taste hundreds of wines from around the world and sample great food from the area's finest restaurants. All proceeds go to local charities and rotary projects. For tickets and information, visit suncoastfoodandwinefest.com. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Planning a carnival fantasy cruise out of Mobile? Then check out the park and cruise packages at the luxurious Battle House and Renaissance Riverview Plaza Hotels. Stay at the Battle House for $169 per night or the Riverview Plaza for just $149 per night and leave your car for the duration of your cruise. Includes transportation to and from the cruise terminal. If you're cruising out of Mobile, come stay with us. Call 1-800-MARRIOTT or visit Marriott.com now. Planning the right amount of food is hard. The guesstimator makes it easy. Just tell it who's coming and what's for dinner. Then it tells you how much to make. And yes, it even plans for leftovers. Try it at savethefood.com. Blue 32, Blue 32, ha <laughs> ha! It's the Ghetto Gridiron Challenge. The game's on to sell 2,000 vehicles. 12 teams compete for the number one spot. Score a great deal at every Ghetto dealership. Buy with zero down. Make no payments for 90 days. Choose from 14 of your favorite brands all on sale. Who will make it to the end zone? You decide. Rush to a Ghetto location near you or visit Ghetto.com. Ghetto's got it. If you're looking for a rewarding job you'll love, good news. The perfect job is just a click away. Go to mysuncoast.com slash job of the day. It's that easy. Stop searching and go to mysuncoast.com slash job of the day to find the perfect job for you. President Trump is campaigning hard against a group of migrants seeking asylum just days before the midterm elections. The president says he may deploy up to 15,000 military troops to the border. That's roughly the same number deployed to fight the Taliban in Afghanistan. Under the law, the troops at the border are only supposed to offer logistical support for border patrol. But the president said military force may be used if any of those migrants throw rocks. We're going to consider it. I told them, consider it a rifle. When they throw rocks like they did at the Mexico military and police, I say, consider it a rifle. 
Trump also announced he would be making changes to the asylum-seeking process, pledging to house migrants in tent cities along the border. Some positive news for those looking for work. Hundreds of thousands of new jobs added to the U.S. economy last month. The latest jobs report for October showing 250,000 jobs were added across the country. And wages grew 3.1 percent. The unemployment rate stands at 3.7 percent, a 49-year low. Tonight marks the last week of the regular high school football season. Our big game of the week, the Venice Indians will host the Manatee Hurricanes. You can tune in tonight at 11 o'clock to see football Friday night. ABC 7's Dwayne Linda will have all the highlights from the area high schools and uh, the last regular season night. And then the playoffs, of course, begin I know. a week from tonight. Can you believe it's already mm -hmm. the end of that almost? I know, November 2nd, we're <laughs> done. Where'd time go? It's, it's pretty quick, it's flying by. Yeah. And you know, the uh, field's gonna be a little sloppy. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's not gonna be uh, in, in terms of bad weather, lightning should not be a problem. Good. There's still some showers around, but not a lot. Uh, so we'll look for maybe a few showers through the game, but I don't think enough to um, cancel it. Good, good right. to hear. Good to hear. World News Tonight with David Muir is coming up next. We'll see you again at 7 and 11. Have a good night and a wonderful weekend. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. Our overall experience working with California Closets was phenomenal. Calm, reassuring. Through happenstance, we ended up paired with our designer, Jen. She was someone who not only was patient, someone who was professional. She's become extended family. She had great insight to help direct me towards those things that could make our dreams come true. We are the Greens, and this is our California Closet story. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Coast Guard, we are taking on water. The United States Coast Guard. They secure our ports and waterways, protect our environment, keep drugs away from our kids, and save lives. It's dangerous work. And in times of triumph or tragedy, the Coast Guard Foundation answers the call to support Coast Guard members and their families. Learn more at CoastGuardFoundation.org. Are you a soccer mom or dad? Regardless of their age or experience level, when your kids play soccer or any other sport, there's one person on the sideline who is keen to help recognize and seek medical care for sports-related concussion. It's you. You need to know the signs and symptoms of concussion, and you need to act if you think your child has been injured. Remember, when in doubt, sit them out. To learn more, go to cdc.gov concussion. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason, because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. Be a hard walk hero. I'm Scott Dennis. 
Join ABC7 and the American Heart Association for the 2018 Suncoast Heart Walk. It's Saturday, November 10th at J.D. Hamill Park. Walk with us to help raise funds to fight heart disease and stroke. Your support will help us advance life-saving breakthroughs that will keep more hearts beating. We can't save lives without your help. Register for free and walk with us to have fun and help hearts. For more information, visit suncoastheartwalk.org.